some weakness there. There's some holes there. And we're going to tap into that June 17th. Tremendous fight from the third round on, but uh, particularly in the second round, what would you have done differently? Yeah, to get you that shot. <laughs> that wasn't good. You know, it wasn't good. It, it obviously wasn't a part of the plan. But once you get past the knockdown, you know, hitting the canvas, that's not any place a fighter wants to be. You just get known for getting up and battling back. I, I, I certainly don't want to be there. And I don't mean this in an arrogant way, but I don't, I don't feel like I should be there. And that's the standard we have, you know, and we've always had over my career, but it's my favorite fight. You know, minus all the mistakes, you know, I found a way to do it against the guy that they said was unstoppable. Uh, I saw the looks on many many of the media's faces leading up to this fight, especially the week of the, fa the fight. A lot of you guys had to look like, yeah, I hear you talking, but mm, you bit off too much. And I respect that. Everybody can have their opinion. And I've seen those looks at certain point in times in my career. My first fight with Kessler, mm, the young buck, he bit off too much. Uh, the Dawson fight, he, mm, he just beat uh, Bernard Hopkins. Long south call, Ward probably bit off too much. <clears throat> Maybe he should have took the blue tape, right? And even in some cases with the uh, the frost fight. Um, so that drove me. Like I know, I know that look, and I know when people are kind of giving me that look. So it, it, it just fueled me, man. And, and uh, to be able to do what I did, man, it, it really took my game to another level physically, but also mentally. To know you can go through something like that and come from behind. I don't think I've ever had to come from behind like that in a, in a professional fight. So. To do that, you know, and, and I think that's gotten lost in all of this. I feel like certain fighters would have gotten, oh my God, was the greatest comeback in boxing history. But because I don't always get that kind of response, you know, you're out. And I think what some may think is hurting me, those types of responses is really helping. I haven't had a chance to rest on my laurels. I've enjoyed the, the, the victory and enjoyed my belt, but my mind is steady work. I'm in great shape right now. And like I told you guys before the fight, they said, why do you have to win? What do you have to do? I said, I have to win. Why? I said, because I won't have a soft cushion to fall on. I won't get the benefit of the doubt. And I'm not complaining, but I'm being honest with you. I said, but if he does, he'll justify it. He'll get the benefit of the doubt. You see it. Have your opinion about the decision. But it's the extra stuff that comes on top of that. That's why he wasn't able to dig deep, because he knows he has a soft cushion to fall on. When you know you're going to get that hard concrete, you do everything you can to stay there.